Man. Didn't clean the pain away, but... That felt good. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Life is Strange 2, Episode 4. This is Part 4 as well. What's going on? We just... We just got showered because we just got finished being in the desert. Beat up and horrible. It was just all messed up. And then we found Daniel, but... We gotta get him still. Damn. You look bad. Gotta change that dressing soon. Yes, we do. He an eye patch, like a pirate. Arg. Karen seems to be on the move quite often. Yeah. Probably. Because she left you. Sorry, didn't mean to say it like that. <laughs> but yeah, she, she did leave you. Unless she has powers too. Ooh. Plot twist. Wonder how long Karen has been here. Did she see one of Daniel's miracles? So Karen did check it out. Wonder if she saw Daniel in action. I'm sure she did. Kinda pretty. Wonder if she made it. Inspect. I know I shouldn't peek, but Condoms. whatever. Glad to know she learned the lesson. <laughs> oh, oof. Karen did her own road trip to get here. Hmm. This is uh, turning forward to look back, making the same choice twice, twice. My solitude days and dreamy nights, just to find myself looking forward to turn back. Okay, Karen, what's what's your deal, girl? Look. Damn. A lot of scribble. Karen does like to capture the world around her. Tracing closer every mile, my heart goes racing sore. Um, I remember, know the feeling, there's no fighting back, the, that beating, tearing apart my core. Early morning blues, coffee, red-eyed truckers and sad families. Bad eggs, not the waitress's fault. She is a quick, hurried one, probably ending a long... Sh night shift uh tag says clementine tw 22 ish red head dyed brunette eyebrows and skin tone don't lie irish descent is this a, I, I i thought this was a rhyme it looks like it's a more it's rhyming it's like poems irish descent owner's daughter maybe mahani's big polite smile business mind um, uh, mildly clumsy, look dis looks distracted, anxious. Um, young cook called her Clem Clemmy, brother, boyfriend, boyfriend. P apologizes when the order are late and she's the one getting roasted. Do mom and dad know you're dating on the job, Clemmy? Uh, mixing up work and love seldom makes a good match. That's a brand new baby bump under the stained apron. Um, it's 2017, and young folks are still busy making babies. I guess nothing ever really changes. I thought this was a poem. It looks like a poem a bit, like she made her life into a poem. I didn't know. Huh. Okay, I think that's it. Right there, let's look for some. Let's look for other stuff. Roadmap. This country is just way too big. Yeah, it's huge, especially for walking. Good thing we rode the bus or rode the the, uh, the truck. Trucker. Thank you, Trucker. I really should finish reading this someday. Hmm. Perfect! <laughs> it's full of knowledge. Just like my brain. Tablet. Huh. This isn't her tablet. I struggle with too many open apps, but should be okay for basic browsing. Uh, Geocat password one one two seven zero eight one one two seven zero eight. Yay, technology! Welcome. She came prepared. Welcome to your new life at the Universal Uprising Church in Haven Point. Okay, Haven Point, Nevada, is a living oasis where individuals and families can live without their faith and community, hospitality, beloved, gratitude, forgiveness, get rid of all bitterness and rage. Okay, so this lady, as the pastor of our holy church, I have devoted my life and love to the teaching of the gospel in our Lord. I was blessed since childhood to be given his calling and is my privilege to spread the word of prestige over the love, righteous community in Haven. I feel like you're lying. Reverend Mother doesn't look too humble. 
of the greatest mysteries of Nevada is how it balances the Holy Spirit and with the Holy Dollar. Okay. And tell me they did. But this is not about me and my story, as anybody in our wonderful church can tell you. And they and tell me they did. Huh. Looks like a roach motel. I like that. Let's go. But on. nobody will find me there. Hmm. Beds are super uncomfortable, but it's cheap. Nice pool, but dusty as fuck. Uh, nice roadside motel. Cool stuff. Okay, so. Okay, so just Karen's note. Karen, did she just leave again? Let's see what her note says. Be right back. <laughs> we'll find out. Popped out for supplies. Uh, I'll grab some food in case you want to eat. New socks and shorts in the bathroom. All yours, if they fit. Might be a good time to contact Jacob. His number is on the letter he sent. Be right back, Karen. Jeez. It only took Super Mom eight years to give a shit. Miss, dear Miss Diaz, my name is Jacob, and I worked with your son and with your son Sean and Daniel on a farm in California. There were some problems, and Sean went missing. I'm with Daniel now in Haven Point, Nevada. He gave me this P.O. box address, so if you get this, I think Daniel might be in danger. He needs help to get out of here. I can tell you more if you contact me at this number. Please hurry. Thank you, Jacob. Wow. Man, why does it take her so long? Okay, not don't not the phone yet. Okay, sweater. Look. We've come a long, long way, buddy. Let's look at my book bag. This thing is killing my back. That's the best backpack I got. I got bruises on my bruises. What do I got here? Let's see what else I got in my journal. Okay, uh, got picked up by a trucker not far from Haven Point. I was nervous, but the guy was sweet. Even hooked me up with a sandwich. Really needed that boost. Thank you, Aton. You're my favorite. Okay, Daniel. Okay, Daniel has been brainwashed by a cult. He wants to stay with them, and I fucked up with this reverend. With this reverend, I just fell right into her trap. I'm so stupid. Also, Karen, WTF is she doing here? How did she find us? Don't want anything to do with her. Nada. You know what? I called it. I called it earlier when they said, um, it's like, oh man, he's probably gonna be in a cult, you know, because of the, uh, Jacob and stuff. I didn't know it was Jacob though, but I did, I called it. I called it he's gonna be in a cult or something or something religious. He's gonna have to like, he's gonna be like dressed in all white. He did wear a white shirt or something, so I was half right. He just didn't wear white pants. But you know what? It doesn't matter. I'm right. Look at me. Um, I'm so detective y. Okay, let's see what Time else. Time to hit up Jacob. Time to hit up Jacob. Okay, cool. Let's let's look at the let's look at her. Let's check out my boy. Karen was always into low tech. I even think it's the one she had back then. I need Karen a call. was always into. What do I call? I even think it's the one she had back then. Uh, curtain. Look outside. This place is quite remote. Good. At least nobody will be looking for me here. We're in room 11. I'm not going to draw. I'm not going out. Can I draw the curtain? Better wait for Karen in here. Hopefully that's not... <gasps> Can I draw? I got a few moments to myself. So... You can draw again, let's boy! Let's practice. You can draw again! Okay. Uh, hold. Let's see what we got, baby. These mountains really inspire me. A do 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 doodle do do. A doodle 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 do. A doodle 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 do do. I'm gonna doodle doodle again. A do doodle. A do do. I wonder who lives around here. It's so wild and huge. A do 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 doodle do do. Doodle 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 doodle. Doodle 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 doodle. I guess that's an okay start. But I, I can keep, keep going. going. I always keep going. I never stop. You always learn. Okay. Just draw now. Don't think about anything else. Let's see here. Okay, this one. God. 
had a good picture of it. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to draw now. Good. Oh, to observe. What am I observing? Oh, it's an octopus. I can see myself stopping by this motel during a road trip. <laughs> Taking a dip in the pool after a long ride. Oh, it took Daniel. <laughs> All right. Back to reality, dude. So, ever since I hurt my eye, I've been drawing more figurative stuff. Or not figurative, uh, um, fiction. Instead of, uh, just normal portraits. So, technically, maybe my eyes made me more creative. Ooh. I lo I'm on the right. <gasps> I'm, my, I'm just right side of brain. No, left side of brain. Or, you know, whatever it is. I don't know. Time to hit up Jacob. How do I hit up Jacob? This thing is... Uh, phone. There's normal and another bat. Oh, that looks so dope. I love it. Heck. I got bruises on my bruises. Okay, Jacob's letter. Jeez. It only took Super Mom eight years to give a shit. So how do I call? Karen was always into low tech. I even think it's the one she had back then. How do I... That's a phone. That's an obvious phone. So how do I call? Oh, the phone's right there. Phone right there. No, I don't use her phone. I use the hotel phone. Call Jacob. Hello? Jacob, it's me, Sean. Sean? No way. I've been waiting to hear from you for months. So you, you found my note in your sketchbook? <sighs> yeah. Where are you? Sean. I know. I'm not far. In a motel. Good. Listen, I, I can't talk right now. I gotta go. Wait! Daniel, how's he doing? Meet me tomorrow afternoon on Brady Highway. There's a, a, a junction just above Haven Point. There's a, a, a wild mice ranch billboard there. I'll be there at four. Jacob, wait! I can't talk, Sean. Be there tomorrow. Please. Okay. This does not sound good. Ooh, Nelly. Damn. He couldn't really talk. All this is so messed up. I don't think I have anything else left to do. Open drawer again. Let's see what we got. Nope. I'm really hoping uh, Sean will have powers. That'll be really cool. Let's just rest while I wait for her. Just wait. If she comes back. Hey, sorry it took so long. The fucking store was packed. How are you feeling? <sighs> Nothing broken? Alter boys don't fight fair? Yeah. I'm okay. Double cheese, no onion, right? That'll do. <clears throat> Got you some gauze and uh, antibacteria stuff for your eye. Mm. Hey, don't wolf that down. Or at least take a breath. <sighs> like you care. Sean, I do. <sighs> Come on, Karen. Don't act all hurt. It's too late. Where were you when I broke my leg when I was 13? Not with me. When Daniel got a bad flu a couple of years ago, you didn't sleep next to him every night. Where were you? Where were you? Fair enough. So let's talk, because we do have to get your brother out of a cult. I'm listening. 
How did you two survive alone on the road for that long? We almost didn't. Uh, Dad taught us. Got some help. We just got lucky. And got some help along the way. Total strangers. We even had our own little family. Good. How did you go to Beaver Creek? You know I don't have to answer your questions, right? You're right. So tell me what you want from me, Sean. Nothing, Karen. I mean, what do you want from me? A fucking hug? Hey, I just want you to know what I did. And why. If you care. So, ask me anything. Why did you leave? Oh, no, what are you doing here? So what exactly are you doing in Nevada? You live around here? No. I'm uh, way out in Arizona. Sean, I told you. Your friend uh, Jacob wrote my P.O. box and said Daniel was in trouble. That's it. Arizona. Arizona? Holy shit. It's just lizards and rocks. Yes, I found something there. New York didn't really do me good, so... Why did you leave? All right. Why did you bail on us? I wasn't meant to be a wife or a mother. I thought I was supposed to. I tried to pretend for many years, but I was unhappy, and the urge to leave just became unbearable. I had no other choice. Are you serious? You chose this life. You fell in love. You made your own choices, right? Making your own choices doesn't mean you can never fool yourself, Sean. After I had Daniel, you were about eight, and Esteban's garage was getting busy. There was so much going on around me, yet somehow I just felt that my own life was just slipping away. I felt like an empty shell. Sean, it was the hardest decision I ever made. I knew I might never see you all again, but I took that responsibility. Dad knew? Did Dad know about all of this? I was honest with your father. We did family therapy, but it wasn't about him. It was me. He was better than you. He was so much better than you. He wouldn't talk about what you did. Like, when I asked why you left, he just said you had to go live your own life. He was right about that. You're just so fucking selfish. Yeah, okay. I think I've heard enough. I didn't have a choice, Sean. We only have one life. And I didn't want mine to be spent in regrets. For years, I fooled myself, thinking I'd find satisfaction into what society expected me to be, and that was my mistake. I hope someday you can understand that. But I never stopped caring about you. For what it's worth, I am sorry for hurting you and Daniel and Esteban. I'm not... I know. Too fucking late. Oh, please. It's too fucking late for that shit. No matter what, you left your own kids and my dad. So don't even... I know it's too late. I just... I want you to know how I feel. Yeah. I still don't care. Jeez. Whatever you want to say to me, 
This is the time. Let's just get it all out in the open. See what happens. I mean, I get you wanted to leave and stuff, okay? But why would you ghost us like that? Not even a fucking birthday card. I just... I thought if I vanished, you would all move on. But I wanted to contact you guys so many times. I almost did. But you wanted a clean break from us. I didn't want to be a part-time, pissed-off mother. Not fair to any of you. I left when Daniel was still very young, so he wouldn't remember me. Cool plan, Mom. You heard Daniel way worse. He thought you took off because of him. I know. I hope I can make it up to you, Daniel. Someday. I can start by getting his ass out of that church. Cult. Whatever. So... What did you do when you left? Where did you go? I pursued some dreams and failed. Learned the lessons. I guess all this time I tried to find out what really matters to Which me. doesn't involve a husband and two kids. It does to a lot of people, and I totally respect that. Just not to me. I wasn't good at making plans, which is what most of modern life is about, right? School, job, marriage. Asked my mom and dad. They wanted me to follow their rules, their faith. Oh, I tried, but I wanted to find my own way, with no security blanket. Family, religion, social norms. It's just all about security, after all. But it all just looked like a sweet golden jail to me. I tried to escape that. Yeah. Hope it was worth it. It was. For now, I've found my place in the world, with like-minded people. I'm at peace with my fuck-ups and my decisions. How do you make peace with bailing on your parents, your husband, and your kids? I know, that's hard to understand. But I think people should know who they are. And not fake it for anybody. So, did you ever actually miss us? Or dad? Of course, Sean. I do miss your father. He had such a big heart. He could brighten up a rainy day. That was like his superpower. But above all, I missed watching you grow up. See how you saw the world. I missed sharing these moments with you, Sean. We used to do so much stuff. Like when you taught me to ride because Dad sucked. Or when we went camping near Vancouver. Just me and you. You always loved night skies. I did stargaze a lot when I was in California. Trust me, the further south you go, the better it gets. <sighs> Whatever. You sound so... careless. It's like you can't even realize how much pain you've caused. I do care. It's why I'm here. To help you and your brother. If I didn't step up to help him now, I couldn't live with myself. No. 
Esteban hated when I smoked. He didn't want me to die an early death. Fuck. Life can be so cynical sometimes. I remember he would smoke sometimes. Long ago. We didn't fight much, but when we did, I would go out on the porch and light up so I could calm down. Esteban would come over and ask for a drag. And then we'd just look up at the sky and watch the stars. Or the planes. I do miss that. I used to do the same with my best friend, Lila. Sitting on the porch. Just letting time go. That's when you know someone is good to you. When you can just sit together. <laughs> Shut the hell up and watch the universe do its own thing. I don't know if I made the right choice by telling him, telling the mother to fuck off and go back and he just run outside but honestly that's how I was feeling and maybe we reminisced a little bit more while we were together but I understand if he was upset I can understand this his mother left no explanation to him or his brother he thought it was his own fault and the, I can understand why the mom leave I don't agree with it but I can understand it because she wanted her own life. She wanted a life, not being a puppet. Following just everyone else's rules. She wanted to live her own life. like Instead of just some character, she'd play her own story. She'd make her own life, write her own book. Instead of just following some bland, plain out plan, laid out plan that it was made for her. I, I can get that. I can understand it. But a kid needs his mom. So, but at the short end, either way that happens, someone will lose. But I feel like now they can just get together, and I hope I didn't mess up something that could further advance this this relationship with them. Honestly, I just want to keep let like let it go here. Just let them bond. Cuz they kind of deserve that. They deserve to be sitting together for a minute, but they need to get Daniel cuz Daniel needs to see his mother too. And that's an important part. story I'm just sorry I just I just want I, I know this is a story and stuff I really just wanted them to have a little more time together okay so I'm gonna go inside now you can see that I clipped it because you might not care and stuff you didn't want them to sit there longer but I personally I really I, I need I, I wanted them to sit together longer I know it's a game and stuff but like I felt like that they needed this like I was I was just I just watch them for about like a couple minutes but okay we're going back to the game that's thank you for waiting we should go back inside i gotta change this dressing okay let's go Helping your brother. You gotta trust me this one time. I know. It's still hard. But yes. We have to be a team to rescue Daniel. We can do it. Okay. How? 
We need to get in touch with this Jacob. He obviously knows a lot more than us about the church. Well, I called him when you were out. We can meet with him tomorrow. Okay, good. I also got these, just in case. Okay. Better take care of the eye. So, do you need any help with that? Oh, is this a bonding moment? Oh my god. Yes, yes, yes. I I'm not going to say no. I'm going to say yes. Yes. Thanks. So, you feel like telling me the story here? When we have time. Gotcha. Here, try this on. We're becoming a pirate. I could be a bounty hunter now. Arg. How do I look? Great. Thank you, Karen. Big day tomorrow, so we should get some rest. Yeah. I'm ready to get Daniel. 